Hey everyone, Josh Smith with Notebooks.com. With the launch of Google Books today, we wanted to give you a look at how Google Books on Android compares to Kindle and how uh, Google Books on the iPad compares to the Kindle app so that you can kind of figure out which one might be the best for you. Both apps are free, so you're, you're more than welcome to test it out for yourself, but we wanted to kind of give you our observations. One of the first things that we noticed diving into Android or Google Books on Android is that we really like the night mode which you can access in settings uh, a little bit better than what we found on the Kindle app for Android. Uh, the text here is just a little bit sharper uh, it's pure white instead of a grayscale, uh, which you'll notice if we were to hop over into the Kindle app and go into our settings So in this mode, the text has a little bit of a grayscale to it uh, that makes it a little bit harder to read uh, in some settings than you'll find in the actual Google Books version. But uh, one of the things that we do like about the Google Books version is that the page turning just seems to be a little bit more fluid than in Kindle for the Android. So now I'm going to show you what this looks like on the iPad. So we go into our books and we'll launch Google Books. And here we have a very readable display. Um, one thing that the Google Books version has that you won't find on the Kindle app for the iPad is 3D page turning. So similar to what you've seen in iBooks and uh, the like. If we were to hop over to the Kindle app, you'll notice that our pages just turn like normal. And you can turn that off if you prefer this type of page turning. Um, as far as you know, font options go in the uh, Google Books app, you actually have in both Android and uh, on the iPad you do have more options so if we go into, into our settings here uh, we can choose several different fonts or typefaces uh, to kind of fit you know what you're reading or your preferred style and you can increase or decrease your text size turn your 3D page off night mode night mode uh, on the iPad is pretty similar uh, in both uh, Google Books and the Kindle. We didn't have a real preference here. Uh, but overall, uh, a pretty decent uh, implementation. One thing that's missing on both of these that kind of really uh, holds this back is the absence of landscape mode. So right now there's no landscape on either iPad or Droid with Google Books. Um, and the, the bigger thing is there's no notes, there's no bookmarks, no highlighting, things that we come to expect in an in a e-book reading experience. You can search within a book, and if I want to see something closer, I can hold and zoom right in, but I can't do things like I'm used to in Kindle, where I can highlight something, highlight this, and I can take a note. Um, so until we see these types of things added to Google Books, we'll definitely uh, continue using uh, the Kindle app for the iPad and the iPhone, even though both of them can stay in sync with Google Books. Uh, with all things considered, pricing's the same uh, pretty much across the board. And so until we see Google Books with these other features, um, you may want to stick with the Kindle apps.